there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Two Provence rosés, um, both on the same estate. Uh, actually, it's not an estate. Um, Mirabeau is like a, um, I don't know how we do yeah, negotiant. They don't, they don't have their own vineyards. They buy in fruit, blend their own batches. Uh, I, I don't know whether they get batches of wine or batches of grapes. Forgive me for that. But um, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, but uh, that one of them is called Pure and one of them is called Etoile. And um, there is a baby brother to, or baby sister, I don't know, uh, to, to these two. But uh, this is uh, the big daddy and uh, the slightly smaller daddy. And uh, I'm missing out the ever so slightly smaller daddy of this lot. I'll be I better shut up and taste them. So the first one is Pure um, 2016 Vintage. Give it a whirl. Juicy, fresh, a little bit of um, fruit salad chew. That uh, little mix of cranberry with slight peachy character. And um, there is a dryness. It smells like it's going to have uh, one of those ever so slightly salty, sandy, um, sandy palates, flavours. Um, and uh, it doesn't smell massive, but then it's rosé. Um, it doesn't smell like it's, it's awash with flavour, but it smells like it's going to be quite satisfying. Yeah, it's a juiciness. There is, it's got nice texture, that type, that light, salty, sandy character. And um, they, it, I, I don't notice as much of that, uh, that cranberry. It's more this slightly cooked apple. Maybe it's, it's apple pie with a few, um, with a few raspberries in there. That's, um, that's coming through on the finish. So good, um, not, not fine, but uh, good. Let's see whether Etoile is a um, worth a step up for the reduction in the bottle height. Let's have a see. It smells deeper, juicier, peachier, a little bit more um, raspberry character. I was saying about cranberry on the first. This smells like it's got a little bit more uh, oomph to it. 13% compared with 13%, so not much difference there. Not all that much difference in colour. I, I, I can't see, maybe there's a little bit more uh, depth of colour in the um, in the Etoile, but it's, it, it, it could be deceptive. It could just be that the bottles stubbier uh, so it, it looks like that it is deeper in colour but uh, it smells like it's going to be a, a richer style of wine. Yeah it's got all the attributes of the first one but they're turned up a little bit so it's got this nice texture. Um, more of that sandy salty note. Um, the apple fruit at that edge of raspberry. Cranberry coming back through when you taste it. Um, it feels like a wine that uh, whereas I should be probably drinking the pure in the next few next few months that probably will make it through to Christmas at least. Uh, this one feels uh, there's there's quite a bit of weight that's left around in your mouth. It feels like um, a wine that uh, come next summer it'll still be going going here I am here I am come and try me. So um, not there won't be much left of this bottle by then and uh, but so um, yes I prefer the Etoile and I can't remember what the difference in price is but uh, they're both they're both decent examples of, uh, of Provence Rosé and uh, so and they're, they're rather nicely packaged as well and the guy who makes them he gets corks out with a shoe so you've got to like them Stephen see you soon <laughs>